Hello and welcome to Red Stapler channel. In this episode, we are back for a 3GS tutorial and we are going to show you how to create a 3D realistic texture from just a single image file. We will talk about how to prepare the image for texture mapping and how to set up the scene for it. Ready? Let's check it out. So here is the image we are going to use as a texture. We will need to use the Photoshop to prepare it for mapping later. But for now, let's work on setting up the 3D scene. First, I'm going to add two JavaScript files, 3JS library and Orbit Control JS for camera mouse control. You can download these two files from 3JS GitHub. I will drop the link in the video description box. Then I'm going to set up the scene and camera. As usual, I will use a perspective camera, 60 degree FOE, current viewport ratio, and 5000 fast run. Place the camera away from the center and add it to the scene. Next, set up the WebGL renderer. Set the size to the current viewport size. And append it to the HTML body. And we need the light. I will use a white point light and place it the same position as camera. And add it to the scene. Finally, create a render function. Call the render method from our renderer and create a recursive rendering loop using request animation frame. All right, the scene is ready. It's still a blank scene, but you could try run it in a browser and see if there's any error. Now we're going to work on the image. First, we need a bump mapping. After open the file on Photoshop, we'll desaturate the color. And then we'll need to invert the image since the dark area is considered lower while the white area is higher. You might want to adjust the contrast to increase the effect. You can come back and redo this later once you add it to the scene and see the result. Save the file and put it into the project directory. Now we have two images. Let's add it to the scene. First, we'll load the images using 3GS Texture Loader class. Next, create a material using Mesh Form Material class. Then we'll assign the bump map with our texture. You can adjust the effect of the bump map using Bump Scale property. Then assign the texture map with our original image. As for geometry, I will use a plane geometry. 400 by 450 size and 5050 width and height segment. Then create a 3D object from our geometry and material. And add it to the scene. Looking good so far. Let's add a camera mouse control so we can pan the camera. Create the Orbit Controls instance from our camera and renderer element. I will also set the Enable Damping to True for smooth control. Then update the controls inside the rendering loop. The texture looking good so far, but it's still a flat plane. To make it more realistic, we'll need a displacement map. So start again with original image and desaturate it. But this time we'll just increase the brightness and contrast. For displacement map, the light area means higher altitude and dark is low altitude. Then save and put it in the project directory. Then load it using texture loader.
and assign it to the displacement map property of our material. I will also adjust the displacement scale to increase the effect. That's it, let's see the result. And that's all for this episode, you can download the source code in the video description box below. If you love this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Thanks for watching, see you next episode, bye!